What's up, Samsung champions? Today I'm gonna to go over setting the fan to thermal off on a Quantum 2.0 system. The reason why we'd want to set the fan to thermal off is so that the indoor fan would cycle off with the condenser when it reaches temperature, which is gonna help reduce humidity in the home. So first thing we need to do is we need to take the remote and we need to switch it over into the programming mode. In order to do that, we're going to take off the back cover, we're gonna remove one of the batteries, I just lean it out just a little bit like that. Then we want to clear the screen. We can clear the screen by pressing the temperature up or down button. And now, if you notice, the screen is completely blank. We want to make sure that screen is completely blank before we move on to the next step. Now, once that screen is blank, we're going to take the temperature plus and minus button. We're going to hold both of those down while we push the other battery back in. Now, you'll notice the screen has changed. And now it says auto and on, and there are two segments there. To cycle through the segments, we will use the mode button. Every time you press the mode button, you'll notice a change from on to cool, on to dry, on to fan, on to heat, and now off to auto, off to cool, off and dry, off and fan, off and heat, and now it'll cycle back to the first two segments. For this code, we're only gonna focus on the first six segments. The first segment is gonna be D. We're gonna change the first segment by pressing on the bottom portion of the right button till we get to the letter D. Then we wanna change the second segment to the number one by pressing the top portion of the right button. Now we're gonna use the mode button to advance on to the next set of segments. We wanna change the first segment to the number two, the second segment to the number four, and then press mode to advance on to the final set of segments. We're gonna turn the first segment to the letter F. And then we wanna go ahead and press mode and work our way back through all the segments and verify we have the correct segments. And we do. So now we're gonna work our way back to the beginning. And now we're back to where it says auto and on. At this point, we're gonna point the remote controller at the unit, repeatedly press the power button until we get a confirmation beep. This code is specifically for the single zone quantum 2.0s. If you have an FJM, the code will be different. The code will be D2, zero, four, four, zero. And then cycle back through, verify we have the correct code. D2, zero, four, four, zero. Head over to where it says auto and on, and then repeatedly press the power button until you get a confirmation. Once you receive confirmation that the code has been uploaded from the wireless remote to the unit, we're gonna wanna put this remote control back into the user function. But I do wanna note, it may take several presses of the power button before you get that confirmation tone from the unit. So if you press it 10 to 20 times, don't be worried, that's completely normal but we do want to return this back into the user mode before giving it back to the owner. We're going to remove one of the batteries. We're going to clear the screen and then we're just going to put a battery back in. Now it's going to go back into the user mode. We're going to want to turn the power on and now the system is ready for operation. Now you know how to set the fan to thermal off on a Quantum 2.0 single zone and the FGM multi-zone systems. If you have any questions, comments, or any ideas for something you'd like to see me cover in upcoming videos, please leave those in the comments below. Thank you for watching.